Okay, it is now two hours later. <laughs> I have been risking my life and everything else to save the hibiscus plant from the apple tree. So I have been uh, hanging off of 16 foot ladders and climbing trees with a chainsaw swinging apples flying everywhere. So what is your fate? Let's get a vote in the your fate and ham on little tail. Did I or did I not manage to save the hibiscus? Did I <laughs> did I uh, end up causing more problems with the solution than I had with the original problem? Or did I actually succeed? and not having one apple hit this hibiscus bush. Okay, cast your vote, so I'm gonna count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Ta-da! <laughs> there you go. Not one apple hit this hit this tree I <laughs> and don't ask me how how I did it because I do not know I managed to climb that tree and saw off that branch and actually have it swing back into the tree missing the the top of the hibiscus Probably by about three inches as it swung just like I wanted it to. Unbelievable. And it is time to go celebrate. Celebrate with a margarita. What do you think, little dog? Are you ready to celebrate with a margarita or not? The little dog did not like me up there on that tree. So we have the... <laughs> we have the... Coyote holding up. I never can remember the name of these flowers. Anyway, oh, it is a gorgeous evening here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I'm hoping this New Guinea impatient has one more bloom in it. One more bloom. Oh, man. <laughs> I told myself I was going to sit on my ass today, relax, and do nothing all day. And I, I just cannot help myself two hours up that damn ladder to save that bush. But it was worth it. And this is the... Uh, the hole that was created when that goddamn chair fell on this beautiful coleus. So I want to thank Wegmans for these seven dollar, these are not chrysanthemums, these are asters. So the seven dollar Wegman aster filled in the hole. <laughs> 